Okay, right, so there's a couple questions in uh, a few previous videos that I've made about how I use the um, search script that I mentioned. Uh, so I wanted to run through that quickly for anyone that wants to use it. Um, yeah, I got it from fluentforever.com. It's, yeah, they have kind of pre-made ones here that open a couple of different websites like Google Translate. There's an image search. There's, I think, I think the German one has freedictionary.com and then dick.cc that's just the one if you want to just get that and I'll be fine um, the one that I have well not the, the one that I kind of made or uh, not made sorry just put in different different websites um, that's what that looks like I, I have two different ones that I've linked with different hot um, what's it called auto hotkeys there we go so this is my auto hockey script. I can link to this in the description as well. I don't know where I got this from. I got it from some forum somewhere. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so quick demonstration is just say copy board. You control C to copy and then my shortcut is control shift D and that searches just the lingui and then I have a few different ones. So let's say I want to search it in lingui. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it, it does what it does. Um, so you can kind of do up a couple of different ones if you want a couple of different types of searches. Uh, I find that's been really, really helpful for me. What else? Uh, just on the auto, hot um, auto hockeys. I have this as well, uh, just if anyone is interested in it. It's, it's really handy just for changing uh, applications really quickly. I have it linked as well to my mouse. So I have... There's like key bindings on my mouse and also on my keyboard for, you know, switching applications. So I've got a Chrome is one thing. Edge is just right and left middle mouse buttons. Um, it's, it's just a helpful thing to have. And then what else? What else? Oh yeah, the card types that I have. So I've made a little sample like demo deck. If people would like to download it and have a look at it, change it around a bit if they think it might be useful for them. The card type that I showed in my last video is not what I'm currently using. I downloaded the Mikaku German uh, add-on and it came with a pre-made card type that I, I wasn't really a fan of so I, I toned it down a lot and changed it around a bit just to make it a bit more easy for me to use. So my old card type for my audio cards is just audio on the front, nothing there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is just like a random image. Um, this, uh, there's a Anki add-on that you can get for like auto, um, what do you call it? like a keystroke to reveal the hint. That's quite useful. Um, anything I need to go into? There's a few styling things that I have. Um, again, I don't remember exactly where I got all this from. But basically the only thing that's really in use here is two things. So this, if you bold something, oh no, I don't have bold used there. So it's underlining and italic, italicized. Um, it'll make it a specific color. I have this slightly updated on the new card type as well. Uh, you can customize that to whatever you want. I also have the image is maxed to 300 pixels uh, high or you know, width and height just so you can put in whatever size picture and it'll always be about that size, which I find is the best for me at least. Um, and then just other, yeah, it's not really that important. So that's basically how that's set up. The sentence card, which is just sentence on the front, that on the back, I have the audio, which is like the word audio from Forvo on the back. That's the same in both cards. And then the Migaku one that I have so this is the sentence card. Um, it does have all the add-on stuff on the front except for like the gendered things. That's completely optional, you don't need to use that. On the back there I've changed how the photo looks, I didn't like that it was so big. Um, yeah, I've just changed around a few things. Uh, for the most part now I have the translation field is not behind it. Jamie is not behind a hint anymore. Um, again, I've changed some of the, duh, 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 where is it, down here, so 
within the CSS that's already there. I've just added those rules back in. Um, yeah, you can change those to whatever you want. This thing here, I'll explain that again just briefly. Uh, this is from a different card type I have. I don't think the original deck is up anymore, although I do have the downloaded files if anyone's interested. It's the deck that I started with. I did it for six months. It's 10,000 sentences. Um, I found it. It was grand. It was good enough for me. Um, but this was just part of it. So you can click on any word and link it to whatever. I changed what the defaults were. So I have it lingu, uh, K dictionaries and DBEL. Um, I changed the DBEL one. So if you click on like this whole sentence, there is the link itself, not the individual words. And I'll just give you an entire sentence translation. Um, blah, blah, blah. So that's, that's included in it as well. Um, then the audio card is the exact same. Yep, so that's all of it there. There was one thing I wanted to mention. If anyone is interested in using the card type, the only thing that I had to like properly fiddle with is... So when you use the add-on, it does all this to your sentence field. So if I get rid of it, then there's nothing. I can't hover over anything. You need all that stuff, right? But that was interfering with this part. So what I ended up doing is creating a second sentence field and that's the one that I was using when I was exporting like the card exporter, I would put everything in that field. So the only thing that that meant that I had to do was when you're generating, just I had to make sure I was using the sentence F field as an origin and then the regular sentence field as the destination. So that's the only slightly fiddly bit. Like it's not really an, that much of an extra step because you're going to be doing that anyway if you don't want to use this and you don't want to have to have those two different fields you can just um, delete that part from the card so it's on the back so it's everything from here down so you can kind of see just from the start of that you can just delete that and then you can just delete the sentence F field and move the regular sentence field to the top and then it's pretty much the same and then is there anything else that I wanted to note not really um yeah I use ShareX a little bit or I used to to get uh the images for when I was watching things and when I'm if I'm doing all this stuff manually I'm not using the um, Mikaku browser add-on which I don't really use um, I use ShareX to get the audio to get the picture and all that kind of stuff and Matt has a video about that so there's no point going into it um but, but, but yeah I think this is the user I'm not 100% sure I think that might have been the person that made that 10k deck um even if it's not they have good decks for quite a lot of languages uh just for like getting started I find I know you can have a look at them they do like frequency list things and stuff like that again if you want the deck that I was talking about I mentioned it in an earlier video um I have the the files for that that I can put up so I will link to the this website and then also the setups that I have and I suppose I'll put in the um, auto hockey script that I have as well people are interested and then also the demo deck from this so I think that's everything if there's anything I haven't mentioned that people are curious or need to know about just leave it in the comments and I will get back to you